So now let's take a look at some orthopedic tests for labral tears, or also known as slap lesions. So first off, it's a test we've seen already in this video, which is the um, speeds test. So basically, you're starting here, and this is where you're going to bring the arm into flexion, Ritzy, and I'm going to resist, okay? So this is a test that we performed uh, when we were assessing for biceps tendinopathy. The reason we're using it now is because the biceps tendon attaches into the superior aspect of the labrum, so we're testing for any injuries there. Okay, so now you're going to bring the arm into flexion, and I'm going to resist your movement, okay? So go. Good. And once again, you're assessing for any pain or weakness. Good. Okay, perfect. Now, the second test is known as O'Brien's test. For this one, we're bringing your arm into about 90 degrees of flexion. We're going to go into horizontal adduction. Perfect. I want you to hold this position. I'm going to push down and I want you to resist, okay? And once again, we're assessing for any pain or weakness. There we go. Good. Okay, perfect. Now, the last one is known as the Cranks test. So we're going to take the arm into various uh, uh, movements, primarily internal, external rotation, and we're assessing for any pain, crepitus, or even clunking that might be going on in the shoulder due to a labral tear. Okay, so we're bringing you into this position. So you don't have to do anything. I'm going to guide you, and we're going to go into um, some internal, external rotation at various angles. Good. And you might even want to bring it down a bit and bring it into more abduction. And you're just testing movement and, and stressing the labrum at different angles. Okay, and that is a Cranks test. So, three great tests for assessing labral uh, problems, tears or slap lesions as we call them. Mm -hmm.